actually, this is week 33. In fact, it's actually a complete week 16. Um, so we uh, will go straight on to uh, affairs and then we'll have a little summing, summing up at the end. Welcome, everybody. Are we ready? Is it you or me? Me. Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present, filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell in us. Cleanse us from every stain and all good one, save our souls. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one notre Père qui es aux cieux, que ton nom soit sanctifié, que ton règne vienne, que ta volonté soit faite sur la terre comme au ciel. Donne-nous aujourd'hui notre pain de ce jour, et pardonne-nous nos offenses, comme nous pardonnons aussi à ceux qui nous ont offensés. Et ne nous soumis pas à la tentation, mais délivre-nous du malin. Slava Otsu i Sinu i Svetome Duhu, sada i uvek i uvekove vekova. Amen. Oče naš, koji si na nebesima, da se sveti ime Tvoje, da dođe carstvo Tvoje, da bude volja Tvoja i na zemlji kao što je na nebu. Hleb naš nasušni, daj nam danas i oprosti na dugove naše kao što mi opraštamo dužnicima našim. I ne vedi nas u iskušenje, no izbavi nas od luka Voga. Kingdom, the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. We are praying as Jesus requested for purity of heart, humility, unity, and love. We pray for ourselves, for all women within the church, and for women who have no faith or trust in God. Lord, we have come before you today once again to give our thanks and to ask you to lead us through all of our days. We ask for your blessings, to be aware of the blessings that you have already placed in our hearts so that we may lead our families, that we may join hands and help each other, that we may um, help our men to be better men that we may cleanse ourselves from all of the all of the impurities of heart that we may turn our heads always towards you we ask for your guidance for, for you to soften our hearts and uh, and fill us with your light so that we may help shine your light in the world that that we may be the pillars of faith and beacons of hope for for anyone who needs it and that we may always stay and remain connected with you and uh, and your love lord jesus christ have mercy on us pray for men who are in the church those who have no faith or trust in god Lord, 
be your spirit and responsibility. I need to have an ability to respond. Aliveness. So I pray for your men, those in the church and those not in the church. Go in responsibility, having confidence in the grace that you give, in the gift that you've given, that they may be used in right ways to build and not destroy. Purify, to heal, and to bring wholeness to our world, into our lives, and that each one of us, each one of your men, may be whole and seek wholeness of others, not domination, no impurity, but to seek to build and enable. Responsibility of your spirit. Lord Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us. We pray for our families for health, harmony, and faith in God's provision. Lord, we, we pray for healing of all the families. We, we pray for provision of all the necessary things, uh, but most and foremost, most of all we pray for your spirit to be present within families we pray that you dwell in our homes as well as in our hearts that there is harmony and that there is um, light of your love shining through each person in the family and that those who don't have their faces turned towards you can be then um, guided and influenced by those who who do keep faithful to to your word and to your guidance we pray for all families to unite because families are the most important part of our societies and uh, if families are broken then then we all feel broken and incomplete we pray for for your love to fill all of our hearts and for your healing to be present everywhere that is needed today. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. We pray for communities and all those with <clears throat> Lord, the very word communities coming together for purpose. I pray for your spirit, your grace, your truth to bring and guide so that those who have responsibility in communities are led by your spirit the same spirit of service and kindness and, and dedication that led the Queen. For the 70 years, gave of her own life to serve your purposes. And Lord, we pray for all communities. We pray for encouragement, blessing. Have mercy on us. We pray for our churches and the worldwide church and all those with leadership positions. Dear Lord, we know that uh, your community, the church here on earth, is here in service of all, all the faithful people. We ask for you to invite people from their hearts to you. We ask for those leaders in the churches also to be always um, mindful and, and to have your blessings, that they may read your blessings even more than we do so that they can help 
lead your church in the way that the church was created so that no pride or or any of the of these um things that that come in the way between between your love and people that that they cause division we pray for for unity we pray for wisdom we pray for blessings of light Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. And we pray for our countries. The finances they have, personal and national, and all those in positions of leadership and authority. Be very aware, Lord, of difficulties for countries like Pakistan. To cut themselves off because of their desperate need. I pray for openness of heart. I pray for humility. I pray for kindness towards the, the people who are suffering. Mm -hmm. It's the people who are mainly suffering, Lord, the ordinary people, and the minorities in Pakistan and throughout the world. O oh Lord, may there be no indifference to the plight of the need of the needy. Humility and generosity to those who can afford to send some money. Lord, your spirit unites and binds and provides may your spirit of forgiveness Blessing and love and power to believe to provide where they need to provide and blessed by you because they do. And we pray for all our enemies at personal, family, community, church, or national level. Lord, we ask, ask for you to help us purify and clean our hearts so that we may start one by one to, to ask blessings for our enemies to ask blessings for the enemies of innocent for the enemies of uh, of communities for the enemies of whoever is working against the biggest values that you have placed in human hearts we ask for for them to receive to receive a blessing of light and that our hearts may not harbor any um any hatred or confusion towards towards them we ask for healing we ask for for openness of heart we ask for for purity to enter us at the deepest level and this can only happen when we are open to your love and to the guidance of your love so may the healing start with with each one of us who is present here and each one of us who is hearing and repeating these prayers. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. We go in love and obedience to your commandments. And we see them, Lord, as blessings. Above overcome all rebellion. May your light shine ever more purely in our hearts, that your grace sets us free to live to your praise and glory, standing for your light. Beginning. Because God 
I don't know the name of um, respect for her. He knew that she could only be obedient to her commitment to God. And King Charles has already made it clear he knows he can only do this by the grace of God. And so can we. We can only live Christ, in Christ, children of God, trusting in our Father, mm. and obedient, living for mercy, harmony, great truth. Grace is so easy because all the burden is on God. We just keep asking, like Katarina has said, a number of her prayers. We pray to God. We ask God. Be like the queen, a little queen, a little kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. There you are. Just to bless all your subjects, all those that are in your realm. Yes. Isn't that be a wonderful vision. Yes, beautiful vision and a lovely legacy to actually lovely tribute isn't it and a beautiful lesson yes i i don't i don't know i mean her life stands for um integrity to me you know to 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 remain in integrity for for that many years in that kind of position could not have been easy but she carried it with grace so she couldn't have done it without god's help and leaning on god yes and especially when Prince Philip died. Mm -hmm. You know, she still looked to him. Yes. Without her, she couldn't be her rock. Yes, yes, yes. True religion. He actually consciously gave his life to her as queen. Yes, yes. He was ser in service of, of her service, yeah. And yet, so husband and wife mm. and you know she knew her dependence on him Absolutely. beautiful the yes yeah that's what partnership is <laughs> yes absolutely well, that's my if you like word for today let emulate the queen in her dependence on the lord mm. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And her sense of humor. I'm pregnant. Yes, 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 yes. Well, one needs sense of humor, a lot of it. <laughs> always on Facebook, and I know one or two, but it's wonderful. Glory to God. So I'm going to turn off the recording now. God bless you all. And I can't say how much I love you. His love. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.